Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about where the market went this past week and where we think the market's going this coming week. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. If you trade that, you're definitely going to hit that subscribe button. It's taken me more than two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of courses paid for, lots of money lost, lots of pain. But at the end of it, the rewards are so worth it. So if you're not profitable yet, definitely stick with it. I think you'll be profitable over time. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts here. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the four hour chart. And we did finally get a little bit of a pullback, right? So the question is, did we put in the top or is this just another pullback coming down to support down here little bounce which we did bounce off the support and then are we going to rotate back up for another high i'm in the camp that we made the high i'll be honest i did not take advantage of this rally if you go back to the daily chart i had been looking for a top honestly the past one or two weeks and i had just been scalping intraday because the daily bias is clearly bullish on nasdaq and s p 500 so I've been I've just taking some scalp longs, but not big size because I, I was just been too cautious to go to go in long. And I'm pretty sure that's the case of most most people. Most people right now are either shorting and getting stopped out constantly, or they're on the sidelines. And not not a lot of people are taking advantage of this. It's just been tough because there's been a lot of divergences pointing to reasons why we were, we were topping, and they were all there for the past honestly one month, but they've been disappearing over the past two weeks. So a lot of correlations that had held up are actually being broken. And I, I signaled that in my past videos. I said that there's a lot of things showing that we're gonna have a massive reversal, massive five to 10% correction, but that was like three weeks ago. And then I updated everyone who has been on the channel here. I updated everyone last week and the last two weeks that those correlations are probably not sticking anymore. And that the divergence that, that we had are actually decreasing they're not being as extreme and that was in the last one to two weeks and that's why i had just been on the sidelines because i was shorting before we broke 4200 on es but then once we broke 4200 on es like i was kind of on the sidelines and then i was just scalping intraday longs on nasdaq so as you can see we we pushed up and we just had this in my opinion one last impulsive move uh, just ripping all the way from 14700 to 15400 and getting the rejection on friday Personally, I think that that was the top and we're gonna start trading down. And I'm gonna show you why I think this is the top, going back to the debt ceiling. If you take a look back at 2021, we'll see that the debt ceiling was raised December 16th. Thursday, December 16th, 2021, Joe Biden signed the debt ceiling agreement and the debt ceiling was raised. Now, what happens is the TGA is very low. So it's a treasury account. There was a spike up and then a sell off came down and then there was a crazy rip rally. And about two weeks later, it was actually 12 days, we put in a high, we chopped around for one week, and then from the high, we actually went down 9% at about two weeks after the high. This is the TGA. The reason why that sell-off occurred, in my opinion, is because the TGA increased and that decreases liquidity in the market. So basically they had to buy a bunch of debt and this decreases liquidity. So this is in billions. So basically, the debt ceiling was signed and passed Thursday, December 16th. Here is Wednesday, December 15th, very low. The next week was the 22nd, hit a low at 84 billion. And then the next week was the 29th, and there was a big spike at about 100 billion. So from the 16th to the 29th, the 16th it got passed, the TGA bottomed, and then had a spike by December 29th. By December 29th, the top was in, and there was an increase in the TGA from the 84 billion all the way up to 600 billion in that coming one month. They're doing the same thing by the end of June. So by the end of June, they're planning on getting up to 500 billion. So right now we bottomed, this is June 7th, we're at 44 billion. Next week was June 14th and we're at 100 billion. Same pattern in my opinion, where now the top should be in around that June 14th date. June 16th was the top there. And now they plan on the next two weeks increasing from 100 billion to 500 billion. So it's the same thing here, going from 200 billion to 600 billion. Same idea by the end of the month, January, boom, they did that. They're gonna do the same thing by the end of June. We had a, a spike and then a sell-off and then a rally to a, an even higher high, 12 days after the high, chopped around for one week and then sold off 9%. This is where we are now. Debt ceiling got signed uh, on the weekend, so it was a little before June 5th. So a few days before June 5th got signed. We had a top and then a sell-off and then a rally to a new high. June 5th, 11 days after, is June 16th. Uh, Biden actually signed it on the 3rd, so this is about 13 days after. Same idea as last time. This was 12 days after. Put in a higher high, put in a higher high. Popped around for about a week until the 26th 
and then after that drop 9% in the week after that. So two weeks after the high, we felt 9%. That would be from Friday, June 16th to Friday, June 30th, falling to 14,100. And I think it's because of liquidity. I think that something similar is going to happen. So there's just one thing I want to raise your attention to. You can take a look at ES and see what happened on ES. On ES, we had a high, sold off, made a higher high, and then ES actually stayed stronger than NASDAQ. So we chopped around and we actually poked again one more time June 4th and made a little bit of a higher high and then sold off. And how much did we sell off? So from, from that point the in the two weeks after, say 14 days, we still sold off about 4%. So now if you take a look at what that looks like on ES here, on ES it looks like we could do something like this where now we have the two dates and then we made the top, but then we chopped around, maybe poked a little bit higher, just above 4,500 at some point in this coming week. And then before the end of this week, we start really falling rapidly. And by June 30th, Friday, June 30th, we're down 4% and we're back down to 4,300 on ES. Now this doesn't look very extreme at all. This looks honestly very healthy because we are really overextended on ES and NASDAQ, even more so on NASDAQ. But expect NASDAQ to be significantly weaker over the next two weeks and expect ES to hold up more. So if you're looking for, for shorts, once we get the confirmation of the breakdown on NASDAQ, I think it's gonna be a really good short opportunity. I'm personally gonna be watching the shorts on NASDAQ. Uh, ES, I think ES will hold up a lot better. Uh, we could actually again poke ahead and make a new high at some point this coming week. Uh, but again, based on what I'm seeing, I'm expecting this week to be choppy where a lot of people are gonna be thinking that the top is in and we're gonna fall very fast or people are in the camp where we're gonna just keep mooning forever. And I think we're gonna see a lot of pain this week because we're gonna be chopping around this week. But then the next week is when we get the fall. So to recap, I think that NASDAQ will actually fall to 14,000 in two weeks, which is about an eight to 9% correction. I think ES will fall about 4% down to 4,300 by the end of the month in two weeks. But I think that this coming week will just be choppy and we'll just have a down day, up day, down day, up day, but no significant drops until the week after, based on all the reasons I just showed you in that video so far. That's my weekly update for ES and NASDAQ. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see more of. Thanks so much for watching. Look out for the next video coming out Wednesday night or Thursday morning. I'll do another market update and a little recap of the trades I make. Give it a thumbs up if you appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.